Hey guys! Welcome to Stuffbox. Samsung Galaxy Zero might be the most innovative smartphone Samsung has ever made. We have already made a video on it, and we received a great response from you guys, so in this video, we are going to discuss the technologies that would be used to make this portless phone, a reality. In the smartphone industry, Samsung has proved to be a true innovator with its different series of smartphones. Samsung is never afraid to introduce new technology in the market. Galaxy Zero is a very unique concept with zero ports on the device. But what are the advantages of having zero ports on a phone, and why would anyone need that? We will come to that later, before that, let us discuss the awesome technologies being used in this smartphone. A major concern with a portless phone, is how we can insert a SIM card into it. To tackle this issue, Samsung Galaxy Zero will come with eSIM support. An eSIM is a SIM card that is embedded in a mobile device, and can connect you to any operator offering eSIM services. The eSIM works the same way as a traditional SIM card, but you don't need a physical SIM card to use it. It is actually pre-installed in the device and you can activate it by installing an eSIM profile on it. It is an evolution of the physical SIM card. More and more smartphones, tablets, and laptops will be equipped with an eSIM card in the coming future. Charging and data transfer can be easily done by wireless medium. Wireless charging is based on the principle of magnetic resonance, MR, or inductive power transfer, IPT. Energy is transferred from the charger via electromagnetic induction, to a receiver placed at the back of the device. The charger generates an alternating electromagnetic field using an induction coil, which the receiver coil converts back into electricity. Wireless charging technology is evolving fast. We're now seeing incredibly fast wireless chargers that are sometimes capable of charging certain phones faster than many phones charge with a cable. Now let's talk about the buttons on the phone. Samsung Galaxy Zero will not have any physical buttons. It will replace the physical buttons, for power and volume, with ultrasonic sensors that power virtual buttons. A company named Ultrasense is working on this technology. When it's time to mash the power button or crank up the volume on today's phones, you're most likely to pressing a button that physically moves. A tiny chip package just 1.4 mm by 2.4 mm across, and half a millimeter deep, that generates an audible sound waves will be used for virtual buttons. The sensor is called touch point, and can figure out if you're pressing a button by analyzing how those sound waves disperse or reflect. It also can tell when it shouldn't respond, like from water splashing or keys bumping. Over the last few years, the main focus of almost every smartphone manufacturer around the world has been on increasing the screen to body ratio of their smartphones, to the extent that phones feel like a glass slab on the front without borders. The Galaxy Zero will feature an under-display selfie camera. The display uses a custom-made transparent material, that allows the light to reach the selfie camera through the phone's display. Under-display camera technology, allows the light to reach the camera sensor through the gaps between the individual pixels, on the screen. Now, in order to keep the pixel density at its best, the number of pixels on the screen is doubled, so that things on the part of the display above the camera, have equally better brightness, contrast, and color accuracy than the rest of the screen. The camera circuitry is designed in such a way that most of the circuit components are hidden between the sub-pixels of the screen, to increase the intensity of the light reaching the camera sensor. We have already seen and experienced under-display fingerprint sensors, and smartphone manufacturers have been teasing under-display cameras for a little while now, but so far the technology is yet to see proper commercialization. The Zero phone will use its screen, as a speaker, with the help of a piezoelectric speaker. We've heard of under-the-screen speakers before. The Xiaomi Mi Mix, and the Vivo Nex S, used piezoelectric speakers to replace the earpiece speaker in their crusade to banish the bezels. The idea is pretty simple, embed the piezoelectric speaker in an OLED panel by gluing both of them together. The setup can be vibrated to produce audio, and as well as haptic feedback when the user provides an input. In fact, the vibrations created by the setup can initiate manufacturers to get rid of vibration motors. The benefit of the technology is immense, liberating more space within the device, which the manufacturer could use to house other important elements or reduce the footprint of the device. LG G8, ThinQ Crystal Sound, 
uses the same technology to produce sound. Crystal Sound OLED, or CSO, turns the screen into a speaker and an amplifier. Samsung is always trying to innovate and bring these new technologies to the consumer, as shown by the different series of phones they have launched previously. And recently, Samsung Display unveiled an OLED panel that can be folded twice. The S Foldable, when fully stretched out, provides 7.2 inches of the screen but when it is folded twice, it transforms into the size of a conventional smartphone. The Galaxy Zero will be having a quad-edge display, and one of the major concerns of having interactive screen parts on the device's all sides, is that you'll probably press them by mistake. Samsung would have to come up with a really special way of detecting or rejecting input, in order to make it work. Samsung is actively working on new technologies, and how they can improve them to the point when these technologies can be commercialized. The Zero Phone has an expected launch date in 2025 with a pretty heavy price tag. We have now covered most of the technical aspects that are required to make a phone like Galaxy Zero, a reality in a few years. Now let us talk about the advantages of a portless phone. Apple removed the headphone jack with its iPhone 7, and now with the introduction of MagSafe, it is even clearer, that even Apple wants a wireless future, and whether it is done for technological advancement or to sell more wireless accessories, is debatable. But what would be the benefit of a portless phone? The obvious answer is water and dust proofing. That's fine, except we have waterproof phones now, with ports, so why is there a need to have no ports? Aesthetics are a reason. An unblemished phone would be a sight to behold. Imagine the lines on it, smooth and unbroken. Maybe it's a Samsung phone with an infinity display. That would be pretty. But is it pretty enough? It's important to acknowledge that a portless phone would necessitate a pretty big lifestyle change, for the average consumer. I'm not so sure it's a change they'd be willing to adopt. Some people use Bluetooth headsets, some people use wireless charging. That doesn't mean it's for everyone. What about you? Would you enjoy adopting a portless lifestyle? Would you buy a phone like Galaxy Zero, or would you take a pass? Let me know what you think. Please do hit the like button, if this video was informative, and check out our brand new channel, Stuffbox Tech, for intruding tech videos every week. More cool stuff is coming on the channel, just stay tuned.